Good evening, my fellow scientists. It is Monday, October 23rd, 2017. I want to talk to you about the iron battery. I have exciting news. Over the last year, I have been working on developing an all-iron battery with an iron anode and an iron salt cathode. Iron seems attracted because it's cheap. There's a huge amount of it produced in the world every year, and it's non-toxic. So you could build an iron battery at home, and it wouldn't be a terrible thing if it leaked on the ground. Wouldn't poison anyone, wouldn't poison the environment. Being cheap and non-toxic means it seems like it's a pretty good candidate for storing renewable energy, either for the grid or for an off-grid uh, renewable installation. I'm excited for this to be a DIY chemistry battery, and for the last year I've been documenting my progress here on YouTube. As of right now, the battery looks like this. It's a little packet cell with uh, paper impregnated with nafion membrane and a metal current collector behind a carbon electrode. I'm pretty excited about that progress. There have been some setbacks, but I think it's a fun project and I would love to get a student to help me collect the data and to characterize the system and improve it over the course of the next year and then eventually publish a really great open source set of instructions and plans so that people can reproduce and build this on their own. And to accomplish all that, I need a little bit of money to buy materials and to support this student over the summer especially. So I've decided to start a crowdfunding campaign at launch today. The link is in the description. If you'll think about helping me out, maybe donating a little money, or if you don't have any money right now, think about sharing this, liking it, subscribing, and following our progress here. If you know people who are interested in DIY technology, off-grid living, renewable energy, and they might think this is a cool project, think about sharing it with them too. If this gets funded, I will update on the iron battery specifically weekly. And there are some interesting rewards, I think, in this. Again, links in the description. It's tax deductible because it is a donation to the University of Idaho. And if you live in Idaho, Idaho has an amazing educational tax credit, so it's even better. So I hope you'll think about doing that, liking, sharing, subscribing. And if you like that kind of thing, tune in anyway, because Monday through Friday we talk about science and batteries, and at least once a week I'm going to be talking about the kind of progress we're making on this all-iron battery.